Hello everyone, happy September. I always go to say good morning, but I realise you might not be watching this in the morning. So it's September the 3rd. We are in the Burr months, September, October, November, December, my favourite months ever. Um, and the sun has decided to come out. Um, it is baking outside. Um, me and Luca went on a dog walk. I, I'll put some like um, videos here early this morning. And it was like misty when I looked out the window. So I put a light jacket on, so silly. And then Luca had a, like a little hoodie on as well because it was really foggy and misty. And I looked at the temperature on my phone and it said it was cloudy and stuff. So I was like, okay. Um, and then as soon as we got out of the street, it was like baking and sweltering and suddenly felt so uncomfortable. And Ace was like panting away. It wasn't quite hot enough for him to be out. Um, I wouldn't, I don't take him out when it's too hot. Um, I don't take him out when it's over 20 and it wasn't yet, but it felt like it and it's baking. So I put a load of washing on. That's like all our bedding and stuff that's on the line. And I've got a second washing now. And the washing basket is empty um, until Daniel gets back from football. So he plays football on Sunday morning and Tio always goes with him, likes to watch and me and Luke are always stay at home. Um, although it would have been a nice day to go today because it's actually nice weather. It hasn't been nice weather when he's been going for about maybe six weeks now um which it should be because like we, we had our summer but the kids go back to school next week i'll go back to work and um we're apparently getting some sort of heat wave um well i don't know if it's a heat like officially a heat wave it's like well for the uk it's, it's really hot anyway it's getting to like the high 20s and it's like pure sun um basically the summer we should have had this summer holiday we didn't quite get um typically we get it when the kids go back to school um but yeah i I'm so excited for autumn. I've got this autumn scene on the, in the background, which um, is quite annoying because it's got that, that kind of reflection, that line, because the window's just there um, in front. But I wanted to get cosy. I've got a candle burning here and I've got a candle burning behind you, but you can't actually see it. But it's a Yankee, oh no, is it Yankee? No, it's Wickford and Co. And it's a gingerbread scent. So we had a, we had, I think it, was it a Yankee that we had? I'll show you in a second over there. Um, and it was winter pine cones and we had it on last night, but it's like a white candle and it's like, looks like Christmas trees um, on the picture. So it, is, it smelled really nice, but I swapped them around this morning. So I was like, gingerbread's more autumn-y and that one seemed more Christmas to me. So we can burn that after. So got the gingerbread one going this morning. And it's also really good for the flies because I don't know about anyone else, but the flies this summer are really turned my head in. So apparently burning candles, um, helps get rid of flies. Daniel swears by it, so I've been burning candles. So, yes, the scent of gingerbread is filling the room. Actually, I can't quite smell it yet, but um, today, I am, that's Ace coming back in, if you heard that noise. Hello, Ace. Um, I am wanting to get into the spirit of autumn. And like I said, the sun is out, it is sweltering today. So it doesn't quite feel autumn-y. So I was expecting it to be like um, a bit cooler, a bit more mild to do this video to make it cozy, but um, that hasn't worked out, that's okay. So basically what I wanna do is go into the gar garage, um, which we organized this summer. And that was a slog, that took two full days. Um, and I've actually got a video of that um, on the channel by now. Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah, it's already up. Um, so I can link that. But um, yeah, I basically, when we was going through the garage, we got together all our autumn slash Halloween stuff and we put it into one big box from Ikea, like a storage box. But I don't think we had a lot of stuff. I might have to go out and get some more autumn stuff. I mean, that's literally, I think it's got like our Halloween costumes in there and then any like autumn Halloween bits. Um, and even though we only did the garage like, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, something like that, um, I've already forgotten what's in there. But what I want to do today, because when we get back into school and work next week and we get back into that routine and that rhythm, am I going to find the time to do this? No, no, I won't. And I'll completely forget about it. So I thought, look... And this is good for me. This is my last day off now, our last day off for the madness. And it's just a nice, relaxing, cosy day. Um, so I thought, and it would just help me clear my mind. I done worky stuff yesterday. Um, so I can I can do this. I can do this today. I was actually really ill yesterday. 
Um, so I was like bound to one place, just on my laptop in the end doing work. Anyway, so yes, I'm going to go into the garage now. Daniel's unlocked it for me this morning before we went to football because I can't even unlock the garage. Something about it is so hard. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to get the box. I'm just thinking the best way to do this. I'll probably get the box, bring it inside and go through so what we got. Then I can put it back. Let's go. Just before we go outside, I look how gorgeous it is out there. Um, so this is the candle. I thought it was a Yankee candle, but it's not. It's Wickford & Co. And it's gingerbread, but it smells delightful. And then I've got this one going over here. This one is fresh linen. Um, I'm not sure where from. So this is quite a generic one, but this smells. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Sorry that you can't smell that because that's amazing. Just like, well, you can imagine fresh linen. And then this is the Yankee Candle one. It's, I thought it was Christmas trees, but it's not. It's white pine cones. Um, but I still think that that is quite Christmassy looking. So I think that'd be better for like to burn after the gingerbread one. But yeah, it smelled really nice. We had that one yesterday. Whilst I was just filming that little, little, little um, intro, I was up on here. So I was oh, just waving my, uh, what, what do they call, call these? I don't know, I use it to light the candles. But anyway, um, I was in Ace's, I was on Ace's, um, no, like no one sits there, just Ace. And I was on there and he was looking at me the whole time. And as soon as I've hopped off, he's just hopped back on. Okay, so here is the box I need, Halloween Autumn. So it's literally just all in one box. So, um, yeah, I've forgotten exactly what we have. I absolutely hate going into that garage. I don't know what it is, I just don't like, I don't like the door, can't wait to get new doors. Um, so, I have just popped it here. This is a little bit interested. Um, so, yeah, open up and see what we've got. I told you it's full of everything. So when I say Halloween, not that this is very Halloween, but it's got like costumes in there as well like yeah a random sword which hasn't even ever been used i say a small fancy dress but anyway so i'm gonna go through and things that i don't need today i'm gonna put on this side um yeah this is my wednesday outfit from last halloween and but wednesday was really big last year and i wore it um I think this, oh, okay, that's nice. That doesn't make sense. Let's work on the top. Ah, this is an unopened, hasn't even been opened. I remember, I think, Tia went as Captain Jack Sparrow for Halloween last year, but why didn't he wear this one? Because it's never been opened. I can't remember. He had a different one. I don't know why we ordered two. Maybe it was too big. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, most of this is from my recent haul I did, actually. So I can actually link that video as well. I went to HomeSense because a new one opened by me. Oh, so the boss, I can't even get that yet because it's like making all this. Yeah, what is this as well? Unopened. Bandana with, okay. He didn't wear that either. We did something else. I don't know why we ordered more things than we needed. But anyway, I can probably get rid of that somehow. Because I think we I went to the same costumes twice in a row, so... Um, so this was new that I bought and it's literally called Autumn Moonlight. And if you watched my vlog when I went to HomeSense, I really struggled to find stuff, um, like autumn -y candles that actually smelt nice. There's lots that looked nice, but not actually a lot that smelt nice. And this was the best I could, I could do actually. And I was a bit disappointed because I wanted more, um, so I'm just reminding myself of the smell. It smells quite spicy, like spiced. But um, it smells a bit different to what I remember, but it's here now. Um, and then I think this is, oh, and I, oh, this is from oh, Gingered Apples. Gingered Apples smells, I just smell it. When, when I accidentally just popped that lid off. Oh, oh my God, that smells amazing i don't think this must be new i don't know if it i don't know if we bought it from our old house so or if it's new we did we no i can't remember anyway that's hasn't been burnt is what i meant so that smells delightful i actually might have to put that on now oh god temptation is real um then i got these which i love what i want to do is put them on that mantle but is it too early to do that today it's September now. I feel like I should... Oh, I'm putting... 
this on the wrong side. Sorry. Stuff that I actually do want out. Remember, I'm putting on this side. Stuff that I don't goes on that side. Um, these, I loved these. Where were these from? Oh, Dunham. I got these last year. Sort of like, just couldn't resist them. I think I got two. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. It's because they, they look a bit different. I got two, but they both got that kind of like... Um, I'm trying to get it to focus. There you go. Like that rough textured bottom. You know what I mean? I had them both in the winter seal last year in here. Probably do that again this year. Um, I mean, yeah. This is Daniel's horrible, horrible clown costume. In fact, I'm going to just keep the, these things in here now because they don't need to come out. Ah, this I got from that haul. I got from Home Sense actually. So this is a new one. This is called Beware by Sand and Fog. And it says, inspired on the California coast, which doesn't sound very autumn-y or, like, cosy. But then the lid, it's a bit dusty, the lid had skeletons on it. So, yeah. Um, let me open this up, actually. Ah, oh, now that smells nice. I wouldn't say it smells autumn-y, actually, but it, just, it does smell nice. And because of the cover, that can come out. And then I have these for the kitchen, which I'm like, is it too early? I'll get them out, but I might not put them actually in the kitchen yet. They might have to wait till October because I feel that's one step too far. I can't, that's very Halloween-y. I can pass the pumpkins off as autumn, but I, I, I think that may have, these may have to wait until October. But I, I, I will get them out and put them in the kitchen though. And then the last thing we have, so I do need to get more. This is not autumn enough for me. I did want to get some cushions, but when we went to Home Sense, they didn't ha quite have what I was looking for. So I didn't want to just get for the sake of it. Um, and then I've got this. I actually need two hands to lift this out. So one sec. Now him, I love. He will be, um, he's just like a little little pot little jar um and he will store some munchies for when we watch our halloween films in here because we do that we like in we wait till october but in october we like to get um cozy and watch like a halloween film we, we I, there was a time we tried to every night but it comes a bit too much then it starts feeling like a chore but a few times a week watch a halloween film uh probably mainly be the weekends won't it but um yeah he can come out he's a bit too nice to use as a bucket like you wouldn't take him to a treat and you wouldn't leave him by your front door with sweets because he'd probably get smashed um so yeah but he can come out so the costumes of course are just going back in the box bye bye um i do need a bit more autumn stuff actually so where did i put the lid did I put it behind? Yes, I did. Um, but, yeah, I can't put it on properly yet. But, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's find a home for these guys. Okay, so I actually cleared out, this was what used to be the junk drawer in the kitchen. But when we organised the garage, we managed to, what is that? It's just a bin liner, I think. We managed to clear this completely. So what I'm going to do is just put the tea towels in there for now and they can stay there till they're ready to come out okay and this guy i'm making myself nervous holding him like this he obviously needs to go in the kitchen but where excuse the noise in the background that is luca watching people play minecraft on youtube as you do um yeah this is the kitchen like i don't think we do we have room to put this little guy pardon kiwi, kiwi? Is that, what, is that what this boy's called? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe here. So I've just been looking at how to configure the space and I was getting a bit frustrated because the knife block, him and the biscuit jar wasn't quite vibing all together. So I just made a snap decision to get rid of the knife block. Um, it's from our old house. It's kind of had its day, I think. Um, it's nice, I love it, but I think it's had its day and it's really grey and, um, yeah. Okay, so, 
I've done that and now I think that's much better. This, I actually want to paint. So I got this spice rack. I found it in the garage, forgot I had it. I got it last year at like a fate, second hand. And um, it was literally like a pound, I think. And yeah, so I, don't, I have somewhere to store my spices now, which is good. And all the packet ones are just in there. But I wanted to paint it. So it's more of a creamy, like this color. Um, Dimity is what I want to paint it, which is the colour of the hallway, which um, you can't really see, but yeah. Um, so that's what I want to paint there, and then I think that this area, I think that looked really nice. But yeah, anyway, so that is where he will live. Now for these guys, I've just walked back into this room, and the ginger is smelling great. Um, so I've got one, two, the, the pumpkins will go behind me. There's no question about that. They'll go on the windowsill behind me. And then these three candles, I might try and distribute them around the house so that every house has some sort of autumn-y thing. Like autumn moonlight would be good for our bedroom because it's the darker, the darker colours. Mm. Or sand and fog. Anyway, one of those would be good for our bedroom. Um, the pumpkin garland I am going to put up there. And then somewhere for that. I think one of these will go in our bedroom, one will go in the kitchen. We've got sort of... We do have autumn candles in the living room, so we don't need any more. I'm thinking that for the hallway, but don't really have anywhere put it so these are our house shelves in the hallway full of see what i mean about the flies this is why we need a candle here full of rubbish i'm always saying to dan to sort of not fill it with rubbish and he doesn't sort of listen um i might try and clear it now So a lot of that was pure rubbish, to be honest with you. Um, oh, what have I missed? Is that an Allen key? These can go in the kitchen. There's no need for them to be here. Um, this is the lock to the garage. So I've just left that there because I know that can we need to close the garage in a second when I'm done. Um, but yeah, a lot of this was rubbish or stuff that needs to go in Daniel's room. Like that needs to be sorted. And the candle, like, yeah, I mean, we will use them because we have wax melt. But yeah, the keys, the um, air pods are they called airpods my mind's just gone blank but yeah like they are and these papers and the cards that's all dams and there's no need for and there's sunglasses they need to be upstairs there's no need for them to be here so on those shelves as well i found these which i was just going to put in storage but i thought actually could make that kind of cozy so i have put them um like across here which I know looks really ugly in the day. They're not because it's quite short, it's only 25. I've just found some batteries for them as well. So if I put them on, I think in the um, like autumn, well, we are in autumn, if, when the lights are down in the evening, I think that could look pretty nice. So I have put this one here uh, for two reasons. One, because I think it's too high to be there to the ceiling. And two, that won't fit in there. So this has to stay there. Um, and then, yeah, so that's how it will look. That obviously won't be here usually. So I've cleaned this up. This is what was on those like house shelves in the hallway. And then when I was looking for batteries for the lights, I found these wax melts. So I've got gingerbread, lots of gingerbread and apple spice, which I thought was quite autumn-y. So, um, and I've got loads of just unscented tea lights as well. So I was thinking of burning one of those. Um, but I'm, not, I'm actually not sure where to put it. It might just have to go in the living room. Before I put the drawer away, I mean, this drawer's a bit of a mess as well. This needs sorting, but half of that is gonna go into that new drawer that I've just cleared. So it won't look like this when I sorted, but um, I found these ones, which I've got flower bomb. Um, this one I've lost the label for, but I had a sniff and it's really like a summery scent. Um, this is Alien, I believe. Yes, Alien. They're more summery scents to me. And then these are like warm woolen blanket. That could actually work for autumn. I'm going to put that over there. And then these are Christmassy. So we've got Christmas memories, which I have used before. Christmas spice, Christmas cookies, 
So yeah, they're my Christmas ones. I'm gonna pop them away. But, and it's nice and they've got Christmas scents as well. So I've just got one of the unscented tea lights. Oh, and I'm going to, I'm actually going to put, uh, I think gingerbread on, because um, we've got gingerbread already burning in the living room, so that makes sense. We're just going to have to get rid of this first. Okay, so I've sorted that. I'm going to put the tea light, sorry for the noise in the background, it's that YouTube video again. I'm going to put the unscented tea light in here and a little square of gingerbread on there. I've put it there for now. I'm not going to light it yet, but I just don't know if we're like, this is getting kind of cramped on here. Is it, does it look too much? I'm going to put it there for now. So I'm on the um, like landing landing and here's uh, the window i was thinking of putting a candle up here but there's already one here cozy up reconfort reconfort anyway um there's already a yankee candle here and it's i think that could be autumny it looks like knitwear so i'm gonna leave it there so i do just need to find a place i got my duster here for these two i'm thinking they're gonna have to both go in my bedroom okay so just dusted this real quick um to see if i can put a halloween candle on it i think i probably can um i think this one would be better um and i think i might just put it there because it needs to be um i don't want it too close to the wall um so yeah that can stay there so that can stay in our bedroom i think i don't i don't think we have the room for two not on the windowsill i mean we hardly ever like put the blinds up um and then probably less so in the autumn so i'm thinking back downstairs we go definitely need to hoover the carpet after i finish filming this kitchen i'm thinking kitchen now hello there ace so i'm thinking in here i think the windowsill would make the most sense to be honest with you um there's nowhere else there is nowhere else um it's gonna have to be the windowsill okay it's there because we have a kind of symmetrical symmetrical thing going on with the uh windowsill where we have plants at either end then a little tea light holder a yankee candle and um uh what do you call them these i can't think what they call just escaped me and then the same sort of here and then in the middle we have the pampas so i'll put it in the middle with that but it is quite a big windowsill, so it doesn't need to be filled. I'm hoping it doesn't look too much. But it just looks really jarring, because look how bright it is outside. And this wash is actually just finished, so I need to get that out now. Okay, so back to the windowsill now. What I think I'm going to do is those Tio and Luca money boxes. Um, that's what they are. I think I might put them in the boys' room and swap them for the pumpkins now. Um, because I think if I add the pumpkins to the windowsill... I think it might be too or maybe actually because i've got uh, unless i put them both together over there actually i could try that okay for now i've just done that i think that looks okay um i don't think it looks too much it's quite a big windowsill that can probably stay like that actually so the last thing on the agenda was this um pumpkin garland i have put it here it's a bit uneven which is bothering me like it's really bothering me so there's two pumpkins dangling down from that side and three dangling down from here i think i need to just do a little bit more work let me actually quickly do that now because that's bugging me quite bad okay it's a little bit better they're not quite dangling like that but the thing is <laughs> like it's quite hard because I've kind of tucked the string bits behind the corners and if you dangle it a bit more you can't or you can but you have to have then uneven sides that's okay um let's 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 have a look from over here so that's what it looks like I quite I think that's quite cute and um and then we got various candles and fairy lights over there and the last thing I wanted to do actually was maybe get some blankets. I have the blanket basket, um, which lives down here, and sort of drape them over the sofas. These blankets only come out in the autumn. Um, so the kids' blankets are under that because um, that opens up. And they have their brightly coloured blankets in there. And then these are my autumn ones. So I might just drape them over the sofas and see how that looks. And that'll probably be the last thing. Okay, so this is what I've done. I couldn't actually put the white one in there 
Um, why is that like that? Because um, it had some marks on it. So I'm gonna wash that now actually. But I tried to make it look effortless, the draping of the blanket. I'm not quite sure I pulled that off. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's adding a bit of a bit of texture. It is, it is, it is giving me autumn vibes. Um, so yeah, this keeps changing, which is really nice. I've muted the telly, but it's like autumn sounds, quite relaxing. Um, but yeah, I can picture me here tonight as the sun's coming down, little subtle touches. Now I love autumn, winter and, well, autumn and this time of year and everything about it. The scents, the Halloween, um, autumn decorations, all of that. But I am a less is more person. I am more, I prefer subtle um when it comes to this sort of thing so that is what i've done i can't forget my pumpkins Like after all the like the little cleaning bits, the um running up and down the stairs trying to find homes for everything. Um and obviously it's just so hot outside. The second wash load has just beeped, so I need to get outside, do a little swap a rooney with the other bits I've got out on the line. Um and I'm gonna wash various other things like those blankets now as well. Give the house a hoover, and then I can't wait to read a book in here tonight. Can't wait for that. Um so yeah i'm gonna end it here put this box back in the garage but thank you for watching this autumn vlog it's one of my favorite things to do there will be more because it's my favorite time of year um and i feel like september is like a reset for me like i know like january is a reset as well but for me i don't know september feels like it is as well like coming into a new season the new school year and everything like that like it just feels like a reset um so yeah there'll be a lot of um sort of vlogs around that coming up please like this video if you did subscribe for more and i'll see you on my next one